To write the name for SNSO4, first we need to recognize we have the sulfate ion here. This is a polyatomic ion, SO4. We also have tin, which is a transition metal. So we have this transition metal bonded to these nonmetals here, this group of nonmetals in the sulfate ion. It's an ionic compound, and we can use these rules to write the name for SNSO4. We first write the name of the metal, SN, that's tin. And then we write the name for the polyatomic ion, the sulfate ion, lowercase s. And so far, the name we have for SNSO4 is tin sulfate. But we said tin, that is a transition metal, and it can have a different charge depending on what it's bonded to. So here, the tin, that's bonded to the sulfate ion. And the sulfate ion has a two minus ionic charge. That's on the whole thing. This is a great one to remember. Since the sulfate has that two minus, the tin has to have a two plus ionic charge for these to balance out, give us a net charge of zero. So we need to show the two plus here in the name for tin sulfate. So we're gonna put a Roman numeral two in parentheses. This is tin two sulfate. If you were given this name and asked to write the formula, you'd see that the tin, the SN, has a two plus ionic charge. And you would also know sulfate has a two minus. So you only need one tin atom and then one sulfate ion for tin two sulfate. This is Dr. B and thanks for watching.